We're going to take a look at a few extra little commands here. We're going to see G at first from last time. We're also going to do a few commands that are not all that important, but yet it helps. There's one called set pen size. And set pen size one is normal, normal line. If you go forward 50, it uh, goes forward 50, and that's set pen size one. If you go up to set, po set pen size 15 or 14, then you go forward maybe 100, and you'll see how big that is. You should try about anything you want. You might try 100, but it'll, sell, it'll tell you right here maximum, maximum value for pen size is 30. So we'll go ahead and CG it, and we'll go with set, size, set pen size 30. And then we'll go forward 100. You can kind of get the idea. Pretty big. Normally, just one will do. And let me get rid of this. All right. There's another one called set size. Please notice that it's all one word. There's no spaces. There's a lot of set commands in Logo. One is set pen size, and one is set size. What will happen to the turtle is, oh, um, I don't know if you can see that. The minimum value for set size is 5. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. We'll see what size 5 is. Here's set size 5. Pretty small. It'll still draw okay. And if you set the pen size to 30 and set the size to 5 and go forward 100, that itty bitty little turtle will draw a pretty big line. So we'll go back to set pen size of one. Set pen size, or set size, we'll try 160. Oh my, there's the turtle. That's set size 160 for just the size. Most kids, uh, normal, I think is about 40. Okay, that's the turtle, set size and set pen size. Now we're going to go back and focus to these uh, programs that we wrote last time. We're going to change them a little bit. One of the things in any computer programming language, no matter what it is, uh, Apple, Soft Basic, C++, uh, Pascal, Fortran, whatever, there's always has to have something to do with numbers and something to do with the thing in math we call variables. I'm going to change square up here. You'll notice what I've got already. I'm going to change it so it'll do any size square. It's called uh, identifying or uh, acknowledging or uh, what's in the word for it? Anyway, declaring. There we go. Declaring. Declaring a variable is like this. You keep the program pretty much the same, except after square you put colon x. The colon and the x are together. There's no space. What it tells the computer is there's going to be a number expected after the, the square program. You'll notice that the program still is the same. I'm going to change the forward 100. Instead of forward 100, I'm going to use forward x. Make sure you put that colon in front of it, of course. It's still four sides because it's a square. And it's still right 90 because that makes 360 turn. But now when you come down to the command center, get rid of all of this. If you try typing square, it'll say Square needs more inputs. Square needs more inputs. You uh, need to put in a number after square. And by the way, it's not right after, not like this. It doesn't like that. I don't know how to square 100. It thinks that's a name. Space 100. There you go. That's a square of size 100. If you change it to 50, there's size 50. If you get rid of the CG, there's 50. There's 100. There's 150. There's 200. And let's see, what happens if you put 2,000? Well, it makes a square, but it goes off the page and wraps around. So now your square program needs a number after it. Every time you need a square program, you got to have a number. So, but it, but it make any size you want. What happens if we put square one? Well, you don't see it, but it made it, okay? All right, we're going to change triangle program like that too. There's a square program. We're going to do the triangle program. 
so it'll make any size. After triangle, a space, I'm going to use a colon, and then X. Well, actually, we'll go with Y. Colon, Y. It doesn't matter which variable. You've got 26 to choose from. We can talk about variables later. But instead of repeat 3, forward 100, you're going to make it repeat 3, forward Y. Whatever, label, whatever variable you use, you have to use again in the program. Now, we'll take a look at that up close. The angle is still 120 because it's got to be 360. Now, if I CG it and type in triangle, it's expecting a number, and there's 100. There's 110. There's 120. There's 130. It'll make any size. You take out the CG and it'll keep them there. And you can make any size program. Now the trouble is, now that I changed square and triangle, if I CG it and try to do main, it won't work. It won't work because now I changed square. Now main needs to have numbers after square and triangle because I changed the original program. That's what programmers do. If they make one change, you got to make sure make sure everything else lines up with it. Otherwise, it won't do what's expected of them.